Hello everyone, my name is Veritas and welcome back to Destiny. Now today is Friday, Zer Day. That means that Zer, an exotic merchant, is somewhere in the tower or the uh, reef. This week he happens to be in the tower by the Vanguard, or the Crucible Quartermaster rather. And let's see what uh let's see what fun stuff he has this time around. He should have new things thanks to uh the Age of Triumph update. So let's see what kind of fun stuff he has in the store for us this time around. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so here's the new stuff. This looks quite, quite interesting. So these are grayed out because I don't have room for boot engrams right now. My character is full of uh, of garbage at the moment, so don't mind that. Don't don't mind that at all. But uh, let's go ahead and look at what he's got. So he has a legacy engram for boots. This will turn into a uh, an early destiny boot engram. I believe this will be something like Radiant Dance Machines, stuff like that. So old hunter boots, maybe a Mark 44 stand aside for the Titan. That kind of stuff. Moving to the Titan Exotic, he has Ruin Wings. Very good gauntlets here. Uh, the roll on these is pretty good, actually. I think it's mid 90s, to be honest. Uh, 90 or er, 58, 58 is a max on gauntlets, so this looks pretty close to uh, close to perfect. Probably uh, low 90s, but I recommend picking these up just based on uh, the fact that they're really good gauntlets. Seeds of Ruin. Heavy ammo drops more often. It contains more ammo per drop, so very good if you're running around with like a Yaller horn or a machine gun uh, or a sword. Uh, anything like that's good for you. Uh, pulse loader and rocket launcher loader, so Yaller yeah, Horn would be very good with these. So I recommend picking these up if you're a Titan. They're very good gauntlets. These are all I used in year one. Haven't used them much recently, but I recommend picking these up if you're a Titan. Very good gauntlets, especially for Crota and raiding and things like that. So I would grab these gauntlets if you don't have them already. Moving over to the Hunter Exotic, we have the Frost Ease or the FR0ST-EE5s. These are hunter boots that will uh, allow you to have faster melee and grenade uh, regeneration while sprinting, and you have a faster or a tighter turning radius while sprinting as well. So very good for you know melee and grenade kills if you're trying to do stuff with brawler or uh, you know that kind of nonsense. It's fun, fun to mess around with. They're really neat looking or boots too. So I recommend them if you need them. If you don't need them, don't pick them up. Uh, they look like they're a high 80s roll. I believe 79, 79 is the maximum roll. So being low 70s, they're probably like a high 80 roll. So high 80 percent. Don't know. It's on screen. So pick them up if you need them. If you don't, don't. Moving over to the Warlock Exotic, we have the Atrocytes of Verse. Now with the recent changes to uh, Blink, this will actually be better. It won't be great, but it'll be better. Um, temporarily, temporarily increases. Uh, to recovery on blink temporarily increases to recovery on blink oh temporary increase to recovery on blink ah yes the the words aren't stupid it is i i am stupid but the helmet looks dope it's probably one of the coolest looking exotics in the game albeit one of the most useless in terms of uh, what it does but it does buff your uh, recovery perk or your recovery stat when you blink um, with the changes to blink that came with the age of triumph update i believe this actually is quite helpful now but still isn't uh, isn't wonderful. It's more of a reactionary helmet than it is an offensive helmet. So like if you're getting shot and you need to recover your health, blinking out of battle uh, is more helpful than blinking into battle, which is kind of annoying for PvE. But it's balanced for PvP, so that's what matters, I guess. Discipline, strength on this, hands-on, second thoughts, invigoration. Decent helmet. Uh, let's look at the stat roll on this and make sure it's not uh, not too bad. 65, 65 is the maximum for helmet. This looks like it's a high 80s, uh, maybe low 90, but probably high 80 uh, there on that one. So pick it up if you want it. If you don't, don't. Uh, no Land Beyond is the exotic weapon this week. A uh, primary weapon sniper rifle. Fun stuff there. It also has a new ornament now. You can have digital camo on it, Undiscovered Country. I got this earlier. It looks pretty cool. It actually makes it look not like garbage. You know, this is very old school, nice wooden frame, and then you've got this, which looks more like a Call of Duty sniper rifle. It's got like a big old suppressor on the front of it and stuff. Got the little bipod here, your little metal, you know, magazine, digital camo. It looks really cool. I actually like how it makes it look, but in terms of it being a good weapon, eh, it's up to you. Certain people will do better with it than other people will. It also changes the reload animation. I believe it doesn't, I believe it changes a little bit. Maybe not. I'm not entirely sure, but, you know, it's it, it's neat. I like it. Pick it up if you need it. It's got Mulligan and uh, the Master. Increases precision damage and briefly, uh, kills briefly increased damage against next target. So, pretty cool there. 
I've really never used it, so I can't really recommend it if it's good or not, but it's fun for the Crucible as far as I'm concerned. So pick it up if you want it, or don't. It's up to you. Uh, these are the new things he has now with Age of Triumph, the weapon bundles. Uh, they're very expensive, 30 coins and 25 silver dust each. But what you get with these is a Monte Carlo and its thing. So you'll get an exotic weapon and an ornament with it. Uh, so if you really want the Zalo Supercell and you really want the Shock Hazard ornament to go with it, you can buy these. They're non-returnable and you can't inspect them. So if you want to know what they look like, uh, I would recommend, you, you know, you see, oh yeah, Supercell with Shock Hazard. I would go over to the weapon kiosk over here. Go ahead and look at your Zalo Supercell and then, you know, inspect it and then apply the ornament to it in here. So let's go ahead and find Zalo. Go ahead and inspect that and then uh, apply Shock Hazard to it in preview. That's what it'll look like. So if you want to make sure you're buying something that you really want, go ahead and look at it in the kiosk and inspect it with the ornament there. As opposed to uh, spending a bunch of silver dust and a bunch of strange coins on something you might not like the look of. So be careful with that. He's really close to the kiosk, so it's really helpful. Uh, I recommend these if you need them, but they're weapons and ornaments. Pretty neat. Pretty neat idea here, having a bundle situation. It's pretty cool. So if you want a Monte Carlo or a Zalo Supercell, go ahead and pick it up. Uh, Curios, as always, he has the Emerald Coil and the Void Drive. One quoted, one unquoted, because consistency is number one here at Bungie. Uh, these can be used to upgrade rare quality sparrows. So sparrows you can buy from the Vanguard or Crucible Quartermaster are blue. They can be upgraded with these. Uh, turn them into legendary versions with a green and purple trail, respectively. Moving to heavy ammo since you have 3 for 1 or 10 for 3, I recommend 10 for 3. Uh, if you're using these to rank up your factions, faction packages drop 400 gear up to 400 gear. Um, I recommend getting the Nightfall buff first so you have a 25% bonus to uh, whatever you're doing reputation or experience wise. So buy a bunch of these. If you have the exotic class item, that's another bonus there. So really easy to level up factions or 400 armor if you want it. And uh, yeah, that's fun stuff. Three of Coins, a stackable effect, uh, burns on ultras and crucible match completions. My recommendation is to pick up about 20 of these, use one at the beginning of a strike, go through it, kill the boss, and then use another one. Go through the next strike, kill the boss. That about that amount of time uh, between each use and the boss death will get you the most out of these. Um, after about three or four, you'll probably get an anger and a drop. Same with crucible matches. Just use them at the beginning of whatever activity you're doing, and by the time you get to where you're going, killing the boss or completing the game, you'll probably have... Uh, you know, your engram to drop there. Glass needles can be used to re-roll exotic armors, so if you really want uh, the Atrocyte Sverts and you're thinking to yourself, I can get a 65-65 roll on this, you probably could, Billy. You probably could. Uh, go ahead and twist the fate on this. It will change the perks, it will change the stats, it will change the amount of stats, so you could end up getting a 65-65 roll but just be mindful, uh, you probably won't. So those are expensive. So I recommend these if you have a lot of materials, but you know, if you if you don't, I don't recommend it. Um, speaking of not recommending things, material exchange, the mode of light exchange is the worst conversion rate in the game. I never recommend this. It's awful. Don't ever do it unless you absolutely need modes of light. And the last thing is exotic shards. Go ahead and pick up an exotic shard. I'll show you how to duplicate this if you need a bunch of them. Uh, the easiest way to go about duplicating shards, uh, I say duplicating, it's not really duplicating, it's more just getting them, getting more of them for not spending strange coins. So go ahead over here and pick up a Truth Rocket Launcher. It's the best thing to use this for. 2,500 Glimmer and one Exotic Shard. This will cost one Exotic Shard, 2,500 Glimmer, and six Motes of Light, I believe. Uh, is what the uh, technical rate is on this. Go ahead and pop that on. Find a class item that has rocket launcher upgrade rate on it. Go ahead and use that. And then go ahead and burn six motes of light. I was told recently you could also... Let's test this. Let's let's test this. Someone in a recent raid team of mine told me that if you stack a heavy, a heavy telemetry um, with a class item that has rocket launcher upgrade rate, it will reduce the amount of motes you need to completely upgrade something. He said that the effects stack... I don't believe him, so let's test and see if this is true. Someone has to do it. Nope. Uh, heavy telemetry. Okay, so it normally takes six motes of light with one of these two active. So with this class item on, it would take six motes of light to fully upgrade this. Um, with a heavy telemetry, it would take six motes of light to fully upgrade this. If we apply both of them to it, so now we have two upgrade rates going at the same time. How many do we need? Let's Let's burn three. Uh, oh, does it stack? It does look like it stacks. Okay, we burned three. Let's burn one more. Where's that leave us at? We're at four now. Huh, it might actually, it might actually affect it a little bit. Interesting. Five. Hmm. Well, color me impressed. It actually does decrease the amount. I think that was five. 
I think that that was five. Hmm, interesting. Well, there you go. It takes five modes of light, not six. Interesting. That's cool. You can thank a uh, random person in my raid team for uh, letting me know that. Then go ahead and dismantle it. You don't have to click on anything. Don't have to unlock any of the upgrades. Once all the nodes are filled, you will uh, receive two exotic shards, two moats, some weapon parts, and some glimmer back. And, uh, yeah, pretty neat little thing there. Five moats if you use both of those. Um, or six if you just want to do it with only one of the two things. So that's like advanced strategies. If you have both of them, you can use both. If not, you can just use one. So recommendations there. Fun stuff if you need to collect shards. For Xur, I recommend picking up anything you don't need. The stat rolls this week look pretty good. I showed them on screen uh, as I was going through them. They all look pretty decent. They don't look terrible. The only thing bad this week is probably the weapon. But um, yeah, he also has the bundles for sale if you want those. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go back and enjoy some more Age of Triumph. Hope you guys are having fun. My record book's done already, unfortunately. I already finished up the record book. People are mad at me because I was like, I f my record book's 100%. And they're like, you haven't played Trials yet. I'm like, you're right, but it says 100%, so fuck off. Um, but, yeah, so Age of Triumph's pretty fun. Hope you guys enjoy. Zur is down by the Crucible Quartermaster doing his nonsense. And, uh, yeah, he will be there until Sunday morning. So go get your stuff if you so choose to need it. And, uh, yeah, have fun with that, so... Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, I very much appreciate it. And, uh, yeah. And I will see you again on Tuesday. So, as always, until next time.